The class prophecy of St. John de, Br de Brito Senior Prom 2015. Lend me your ears. In just a minute, we'll take a trip to the future. Stand back, widen your imagination, and enjoy the trip. Let's explore the year 2025. Year 2025. I was awakened by the melody of the songs by the Broadway singers Shaina B. Villarin and Janine M. Espiritu coming from the neighborhood. I stood up, stretched my body the same way as the physical therapist Salona C. Locario instructed on her TV show, Stay Fit. After a while, I, re I reached for the remote control for my daily morning news habit. As I turned it on, I heard the familiar voice of Prona Mecca P. Macasantos delivering the headlines of the early morning edition of the Daily Prophet. Fellow TV newscasters, Arwin C. Borde and Catherine Faye M. Oxtero were later focused on screen. After them, Alia Ileron finished the news and public affairs program with juicy details of the star school portion. Moments later, I turned off the TV. I was preparing my breakfast when my doorbell rang. I left the kitchen and headed straight to open the door. There stood a man carrying a package. The neighbor goes to Madame Angelina T. Pitugo from Summit Media. The package was a set of magazines from their company. I get free monthly as their endorser. I open the box and read the first magazine, The Gossip, edited by Venus J. Farona. Featuring in its cover, the international dance group, Jive, headed by their leader and choreographer, Danica Charlotte M. Vicious, with Glyza Mara Montaño, also the star of the mass scene TV sitcom. Babae po ako, Barbara B. Gisungon. And the next magazine, Totally Young, features the daughter of Precious Hazel C. Auditor and Alejandro Derpo III. She wins the 2025 Ice Skating Competition for Kids held at Los Angeles, at Los, held at Los Angeles, California. Alejandro Darpo III was the owner now of the international renowned five-star hotel in, in USA with almost 50 branches all over the world while he said, was the governor of the state of Wisconsin. Oh. <laughs> After scanning the pages of some magazines, I sat comfortably at my newly bought Rattan furniture, manufactured by the Frias Woodcraft Incorporation, owned by Ray Vincent A. Frias. Next, I browse the glossy pages of the magazine both. From its cover, featuring the top ranked model, Chanel Klein C. Cabrera and Junius Paulo Villar. <laughs> to be featured stories on the Olympic gold medalist, Jessica B. Natividad, and the famous fortune teller, Thor print out model April Joy B. Paul. The layout being done by artist K. Ira Chococo 
was simply fantastic. Then, went my cellular phone sound. It was a message from a manager. It goes, we will have a meeting with the producers of new movie today. Be at the office at, be at, the office at 9.30 a.m. And we need to talk for the schedule today. What a busy day. Being one of the most personalities really isn't, isn't that easy. I look at my watch. It was quarter today. I finish my breakfast and took a bath. After I mix and match my clothes and get dressed. I called my personal driver and ordered him to drive me, drive me to the meeting place. I left the house at night. On the way, I continued browsing the pages of another magazine entitled The Architect Architecture Today, featuring the masterpieces of interior designer Rob Jeffrey A. Sardegna, architecture Ben R.D.P. Tumbaga, and our civil engineer, Yomar B. Capitano. The Sisters, with Patrice Vincent C. Batilan as Erika T. Rico Hermoso. I immediately awoke. I was fond of watching the things outside the car until one billboard caught my eyes. It stars the winners of the 2025 Miss World Pageant. Yvonne S. Layson. I saw some talent managers like Jasper Sheldon C. Perez and business administra administrator Tricia Dan D. Magno. Then after some minutes of waiting, the Lacrius business tycoon, Lutlet Blair P. Lopez, who was one of my family's closest friends, is now the movie producer. The meeting ran smoothly. After an hour and a half of talking with them, finally the contract signing signing began. Lawyer Jason A. Mesalaya. for homeless children at the Hajan Hancock Center. And then, a visit to the conference of the International Aeronautical Society of Los Angeles at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. It was past 11. After talking with the manager, I called my driver and ordered him to drive, drive me to the Jan Hancock Center. On my way, I saw very well-known Twin Beauty Boutique run by Faye Luisa A. Rosario and Eden Faith I. Pagaduan. They specialize in stylish dresses and accessories for teens and teens at heart. You can see the beauty of it through the picture of the Hollywood actress, actress and singer Judy Ann C. Mayor, placed in front of their boutique. After almost 20 minutes, the car 
came to a halt. I'm already at the center. Outside the window, I saw paparazzi waiting for me. Okay. I put my hat and glasses on like what, on like what Paris Hilton does. I went out of the car and was escorted by the hotel security up to the room reserved for my charity and me. Along the corridors of the hotel, all the people I pass have cameras at hand. Flashes all over the place. It's really a good idea. I wore my eyeglasses. On the roof, as I was heading for my seat right on the center, I saw the philanthropist Gail L. Amita, talking to Dr. Marielle P. Mergulias and pediatrician Maria Teresa I. Tubasi, who was one of the people assigned for the health services of the members of our charity. There were a lot of people I did not recognize in the room, talking and chatting. As I took a seat, the meeting immediately started and the waiters and waitresses served the food. The usual lengthy discussion ended. Before I went out of the meeting room, I mumbled thanks, shook hands, and bid goodbye to the people. It was early for the next morning. I decided to visit my aunt at the hospital. I went back to the car and on the way to the hospital, I bought some foods and fruits at one of the stores we passed. As I arrived, I saw dentist Maria Miramar M. Tristan talking with her clients. After passing the hallway, I headed to the second room in the left and saw my aunt chat, chat with surgeon Dr. Beatrice Venus P. Derpo. As soon as I entered, the doctor left. I took, I took with my aunt's couple of minutes before Dr. Anna Rose C. Gila interrupts us. He, spe he specializes in orthopedics. He reported to me the situation of my aunt's scoliosis. I then looked at my watch and then walked towards the door and bid goodbye to both of them. I saw in the hallway Sister Florence Ladrosa, concerned with the hospital, hospital chapel activities. I then greet her. Then I, continue, I continued walking. I saw nurse Gina Ayo talking with pharmacist Pepe Rose D. Fronteras. Then, near the nurse station, I passed and said, Hello. I left the hospital and headed straight to the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Along the way, I received a call from my friend, a software industry owner. He as soon as I finished conversation with her, I called my manager right away. After talking with her, I put down my cell phone and turned on my newly bought iPad. After minutes of listening, heart pounding songs, I turned it off when the hotel was already inside. We stopped in front of the hotel. As I was on my way inside, I saw cute and cuddly little puppies and kittens. When I arrived to the room, I saw our lady pilot, Nikita Colleen B. Moments later, as soon as the announcer proclaimed the end of the conference, I immediately went out of the room and contacted my driver.
As I was on my way out and hurried home, I remember the magazines I brought. I saw it on the back seat. I took it and saw the magazine totally finished. Found out how to make use of bad bacteria and transport it. The last story features documents of Ace Harata, a the only mountain climber who climbed, who climbed Mount Everest by hand. By I hand. was so amused with the achievements of my students and suddenly said to myself, I'm so happy. I was not aware of my arrival, not only until the car stopped. The trip was like a flash. I went out of the car and looked for the keys of the house in my pouch. When I found it, I went inside. Then to the kitchen, I pulled water from the refrigerator and drank some of it. What a tiring day! I also ate some fruits before I went straight to the room. And when I'm listening music, I think about the things that have happened today. It's so wonderful to see all those students successful and fun of their lives. After moments of my self-talking part of the day, I realized I was so exhausted and now needs rest. Before sleeping, I turned off the lights and said some words of applause, forgiveness, and thanks to the God above. What a wonderful future, what a wonderful future they have, he said it. As the saying says, there is only one success, to spend your life in your own way. Through living your life by what your heart says, there will sure be happiness. For happiness can be found in your heart, not in money, not in power. Build your way and reach for the top. Ad maiorem dei gloriam.